Have you heard that ridiculous story about a dog that supposedly slept near its owner's grave every night for seven years? Believe it or not, dog nutters have used ridiculous unproven anecdotes like this one to try and argue that dogs are capable of grieving for their human masters. It reminds me a lot of Beth's firefighting miracle mutt story. What a whopper of a tale that was. So, we are expected to believe that this dog left its home every night and travelled to the local cemetery. Every day for seven years. As is pointed out in the Snopes article about the story, The notion that the dog was able to locate its owner's grave several days after he had been buried, despite never having previously been there, seems, to say the least, a bit far-fetched. The picture shared on social media along with the caption is actually completely unrelated. It is not even the same dog. But my question would be, why is there no video proof for any of this? After all, there are 2,555 days in a seven-year period. You really expect us to believe that in all that time, nobody was ever motivated to seriously document something so remarkable. What's more, it says that the dog slept by its owner's grave, as in near. But the pictures with dogs on graves shows dogs literally on top of them. Obviously, the dog in the picture is just laying there for the sun, and the entire backstory is completely fabricated. This story is beyond absurd. What's even more absurd is the fact that people actually fall for it. Dogs shouldn't be allowed anywhere near cemeteries. I have seen dogs in these spaces, and I have read many accounts of graveyards littered with dog owners with dogs in tow, loose dogs, and dog waste. I have even seen stories of disgustingly disrespectful dog nutters allowing their dogs to pee and crap on people's graves. And that is much more believable than these absurd stories of dogs doing impossible things. The following I have mentioned before, but it is worth revisiting. As someone else wrote so well, Animals do feel emotions, but grieving is more than an emotional state. It requires the capacity to project mentally into the future, I will never see that person again, and focus intensely on the past. I used to have such a good time with this person. Animals are very much focused on the present moment, and it is doubtful they're capable of doing both of these for any extended period of time. If you want to support this content and see more of it, please like and subscribe. If you hate this content and want to fight for weird predator parasites, like and subscribe.